Okay, hello YouTube and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the PHP programming series. And this is going to be a little short video, it's not very interesting, it's just about comments. Now comments are very, very useful when you start programming really big applications. For example, you know, some web applications that I'm currently working on, there's a few pages of over 1,000 lines of, of code, and just navigating through that, you know, trying to just figure out where everything is, it's really really annoying but with comments I can just you know navigate it a lot more easily so to start this tutorial off we'll need to create a start and end PHP tags and we'll just save this as comments.php and we're just going to write a few lines of code going to echo welcome to my website I'll have a break after that and we'll we'll echo this a few times. We'll we'll just copy it and paste it. We'll do the cheating way. Are you enjoying it? And then we'll have one last line. Okay, so this is pretty much going to output. You know, welcome to my website. Are you enjoying it? And I hope you like the message. And we covered the echo function before. So you should not be this far if you don't know what this means. Okay, so you'll you'll understand the point to this in just a moment, so just bear with me. And up here we're going to create some variables. We're just gonna say name equals Chris age equals eighteen um colour equals blue. Oops. And I'll spot the American color there, just my American views. And okay, so we'll just put another little line of text. Um, echo. Actually, no, we won't. We'll, we'll stick with this. That should be enough. Okay, so we can use comments in two ways. And uh, the actual main, the reason that we have comments in PHP is to comment out code, to skip code. So if we actually save this right now comments.php and you know we have these three messages what we can do is use a comment to comment out a line now what a comment will do is escape an entire line of any PHP code so it acts like it doesn't exist so if we type two forward slashes that will indicate comment so now we've done that we hit save and you'll notice the middle line is gone that's because it's been commented out and we can then put that back and another function for comments is to just name your variables or you know set of code and that's what I like to do so let's say just for these three variables we could just say below are my variables you know just so you can keep yourself updated you know might want to add some lines in there just to keep yourself you know so you can just oh here's my variables right here but if we save this and then refresh it, it's saying that we've got an error, and that's because PHP is trying to interpret this line as PHP code. But obviously, it's nonsense. The server just looks at this and just thinks, "What the hell is this? It's nonsense." So what we can do is comment this out, and then just save that. And now we can have a light, nice little comment here saying, "Oh, here's my variables right here." Save that, reload, and it works again. And that's how to use a single line comment in PHP. Now another form of commenting you can use in PHP is multi-line and you use that by doing a forward slash and then a star. And doing a forward slash and a star will indicate that you are starting to comment some lines of code out and to finish that all you need to do is do a star and then a forward slash again. So between these the start and forward slash just space it out a bit this is all commented out between here so we save this and it'll only output the last message and let's just you know take this off so now we just echo that line save it and you know we've see that do that again now comments might seem a little weird to you right now because we're only writing you know 10 lines of code but trust me, when you're more experienced, you will really rely on comments. 
and also if you're ever going to become a web developer then if you ever sell your content then you know whoever you're selling it to is going to be really annoyed if you don't have comments because they won't understand your code at all so thanks you for watching this tutorial please leave a comment if you have any questions I will answer them also subscribe to the channel and like the video and enjoy the next tutorial